So welcome everybody to the uh, dedication of uh, Demosthenes, uh, the dolphin. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce and Gene, the new president. Where you at? Gene, how you doing? Uh, they're doing a whole lot here for businesses in the chamber, uh, uh, Tarpon Springs Chamber for the city and locally. Been involved in them for years. Uh, so I uh, just want to say that if you haven't gotten involved with the Tarpon Springs Chamber, a lot of great things are happening to improve the economy and work with small businesses to further the, uh, the agenda of the city there. Uh, I'd like to thank the city of Tarpon Springs, including those involved, Mayor Chris Alahuzis, Mark LaCorris, Karen Lemons, Tom Function, and others. Uh, these leaders have really been there for the improvement of Tarpon since we've been there 25 plus years in the city and helping towards the economic development for our community as well. Just want to say thank you and thank you for the Tarpon Springs Art Association, um, including all of those that are on the plaque, which I'll mention later, for painting this and being involved in the art in our city and really doing a great job to beautify the city as well. So you're a major part of that. And I'd also like to thank our staff at Unbehagen Advisors uh, for many years of steady dedication to the businesses and people of Tarpon Springs. So to introduction, I'm Todd Unbehagen, president of Unbehagen Advisors. Been here 25 years. As uh, Mayor Alahuzis has mentioned, uh, Tarpon High, played football, uh, fr friends of a lot of people around here. And um, recently I served five years on the executive committee at the uh, Chamber of Commerce and we work closely to help businesses and our headquarters here in Tarpon Springs of Unbehagen Advisors, a tax and accounting firm, has been here for over 25 years. We have offices in Tampa, South Tampa, Sarasota, Bradenton. So our headquarters has remained here in Tarpon for our love of the city and just everybody in it. So we continue to, to support the city and the community in general and that's why the Dolphin's here today. So I'll tell you a little story of Dolphin briefly and just let you know kind of how it ended up here and what the thoughts were. So a while back when I was on the executive board, the Tarpon Chambers, uh, the Tarpon Chamber of Commerce, um, somebody stated that they wanted a dolphin from the Clearwater Dolphin Trail here because there's over a hundred dolphins throughout Pinellas County that represent this trail. And people find maps of the trail and go around and actually look at the dolphins and take selfies of them. And it's, it's kind of a little bit of an economic stimulus that happens when they do it. And it promotes local businesses as well, which we, which we certainly specialize in. Um, and it promotes them on social media. So I told them um, that we would purchase the dolphin for the chamber in the city. And we wanted to represent some great attributes of the city, which you can see on the dolphin. We wanted to keep the art local with local artists as well. And we wanted to have a committee to decide on the Tarpon Springs Art Association artists that would, that would paint it. So we did, and we had a contest. And those that came forth to uh, represent it, we selected a concept of local Tarpon Springs themes from the Tarpon Springs Art Association, as designed by Heather Risley with the Tarpon Springs Art Association. So we want to say congratulations. There's Heather. Yeah, she's the designer. And her name's on there as well, on the plaque. And um, other Tarpon Springs artists, including Yovana James, Frank Hip, Bess King, Lynn Coppola, and Sherry Orr, which is here, painted it as well, and brought their own creativity and strong familiarization of the events and items in Tarpon Springs, being that they're local here, into the painting of the dolphin as well. So we wanted to make sure it represented Tarpon as, as well. So they did a beautiful job painting it. I, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> There are scenes from the uh, Chamber Art Festival at the Spring Bayou, the Epiphany with Boats and Divers, a tarpon fish, and a sponge diver on the dolphin, among others. My personal favorite is the eagle painted on the back, which represents the Unbehagen Advisors logo. <laughs> <laughs> they again, they did an amazing job. And then I asked uh, First Choice Auto to paint five coats of automotive paint on it to protect it for years to come, and Mark LaCourse and Tom Function helped locate the best place to put it due to its whimsical appeal. The best place was on top, uh, in front of the Tarpon Chamber, which it's donated to, and the Tarpon Marina because it loves water. So what better fit, and it's a great home for the Dolphin Demosthenes. So last I want to tell you about the name of it. How did we come up with it? Demosthenes was chosen carefully as the location as the location of the dolphin was in a Greek area of Greek culture in the sponge docks, which, is a long, which has a long time tarponite myself, has a wonderful culture. So the name Demosthenes was the name chosen as he was born in 384 BC in Athens, Greece, and grew to be known as an intellectual politician and is said to be the greatest speaker of ancient Greece. He lived in Athens 
and he sought to preserve the freedoms of Athens and the rights of its citizens. He would draw large crowds from all around to hear him speak. He was known for his eloquent, meaningful speech style, like the eloquent, and meaningful artistic style of our dolphin here today. Demosthenes overcame stuttering by putting pebbles in his mouth to, to become the best speaker in ancient Greece. The city of Tarpon and the chamber continued to get better and better and improve and became a better place to live and work since I've been here. The ancient Greek name Demosthenes means vigor of the people, which resembles the strong leaders, people, and business owners of Tarpon Springs and the sponge docks that we all know today. It is fitting that the dolphin is at the entrance of the sponge docks and the Tarpon Springs Visitor Centers for many years to come. He'll be a symbol of community and business improvement in Tarpon Springs. It's located at a, at a place that draws crowds and tourists like Demosthenes did in ancient Greece. It will bring a tiny bit of joy to all of those that take a selfie in front of him for years to come. So before you leave, don't forget to take a picture with Demosthenes the Dolphin. And if you're on social media, media be sure to hashtag Demosthenes. Thank you. There we go. Yay.